In today's video, I'll try to do five different slide designs in PowerPoint in less than 10 minutes. That only means two minutes per slide. To be honest, I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it. So without further ado, let's get started. And the timer is already running. And the only thing that I did prior to starting these slides was defining a color palette for each of them, because honestly, I would spend like 10 minutes just trying to define the colors for each slide. And let's add a few rounded rectangles over here. And I'm just gonna group them so I can align everything to the center and to the middle and I'm moving very very quickly because two minutes is not a lot of time for each slide and you can always slow down the video or pause it to follow every single step that I'm doing and I just inserted a circle in the middle of the slide and I'm gonna select everything go to shape format here I'm gonna click on merge shapes and then on fragment I'll quickly get rid of everything that I don't need in the middle and I'm just gonna change the color of these rounded rectangles to white and then I'm gonna choose a different shade of blue for each of the slices of our circle but of course you can pick whatever colors that you like. I think that if you choose different tones of the same color, that will work very well for this type of slide. And for this slide, I'm going to showcase four different points. So that's the reason why I'm doing this. And I'll just insert some placeholder text. Everyone in my comments always asks me what does lorem ipsum means. It doesn't mean anything. It's just placeholder text. I'm going to duplicate this text box holding Alt on my keyboard. And here I'm just going to add my title. With this icon over here, you can make the text larger or smaller depending on what you need and being the perfectionist that I am I think that's what's going to mess up this whole two minutes per slide thing but once I have one exactly how I want it it's going to be very easy to duplicate it to the rest of the rectangles and I changed the font to Archivo I think it works very very well and just as I said it's going to be very easy to duplicate the text box to the next rectangles I also want to say that this is real time I'm not speeding up this video and I'll just add some numbers to my circle. So this will be number one. This one will be number three. Let's just duplicate these text boxes to the right. And I'll just change the numbers. This one will be number two. And this one will be number four. And our first slide is pretty much done. Now I'm going to copy these text boxes with Control C, paste them over here with Control V, and I'm going to group them. I'm going to move it over here. And then I'll duplicate it three times holding Control on my keyboard. Let's make sure that everything is properly aligned and distributed evenly. And a lot of people always ask me where I get inspiration for my designs. And to be honest, I search for a lot of inspiration on Pinterest and other websites. And I follow a lot of graphic designers on Instagram. So that's pretty much where I get my inspiration from. And I'm just going to add a few numbers over here from one to zero, and I'm just going to make them a little bit larger. And then I'll insert this shape that has like this diagonal cut on the top right corner. I'll just move it over here and I'll just duplicate it a few times to the right like this. And this four shape, we actually don't need it. I'm just measuring that everything is evenly distributed. And I know it looks a little bit weird now, but you'll see in a minute how cool this layout looks. So I'll just move these shapes behind the text like these. And I have less than seven minutes left and three more slides to go. So I better hurry up. And the only thing that I need to do is to start changing the color. So for this one, I'll pick a dark orange like this one. Then for the second one, I'm going to choose the light orange and I think this is the most annoying part having to choose like the eyedropper tool and then picking the color for the third one I'm gonna choose this dark purple and for the background, I'm just going to change it to a light purple like this. And I'm going to change the colors of the text boxes. So this one will be the dark purple that we used before. This one will be the dark orange as well. I think it's going to look very good. And for this one, I'm just going to make them white. And that will give us a lot of contrast. Also, I'm so sorry for my voice, but I'm a little bit sick. But I still wanted to do this video for you. And in this space over here at the top, here's where we can add our title and I think we're pretty much done with this slide because I need to move on to the next one because we have less than six minutes left on the timer. Now this video is about two minute slides in PowerPoint but do you know you can create a whole slide deck in less than two minutes as well? Let's start the timer. I'll be using this website called Dectopus. Just head over to Dectopus.com in your browser. Here you can write the topic for your presentation. Let's type in how volcanoes work for example and click on generate presentation. This will generate an outline that tells you exactly what what will be on each slide and you can edit this however you like you can add or remove topics etc i like this so let's go ahead and click on change theme to select a new one 
and I like this one. So let's apply the theme and click on generate presentation. Let's wait for a little bit. And this is actually insane. It only took 34 seconds and look how good these slides look. It even added images and icons. Of course, you can edit whatever you like, including text, images, or the design itself. And you can even export it to PowerPoint by clicking on export and selecting PPT standard or compressed and clicking on export. There are other features like creating AI images or translating it to a different language. So make sure to check that out. The link is in the description box of this video. Okay, so for the third one, I'm gonna start by changing the background color of my slide and I'm gonna pick this dark green. And then let's add an image. I'll go to insert, select pictures, click on stock images. And here I'm just gonna look for an image that kind of matches my color scheme, which in this case will be this one of this squirrel. And I'll keep this design super simple, but I still want something professional and something clean and something that can be easily replicated. And I'm gonna choose a rectangle from the shapes panel and I'm just gonna add it here to the right hand side of the slide. Ideally every third should be the exact same size but hey like I don't have much time now and we're about to hit the five minute mark and I still have to finish this slide and create two new ones. I'm starting to feel the pressure but I think I will be okay. And I just copied the text boxes from the previous slide and I'm just gonna add them here to the right hand side of the slide. And I'm gonna change their colors as well. Just replace the title with number one and number two. And now I'm just gonna copy uh, one of these text boxes, put it over here for the title. So I'm just gonna make it larger. Let's get rid of this text that we don't need. And I'm just gonna change the color of the title for these like acid yellow color that looks very very cool I think it's going to stand out against the background and we need more contrast for this one so I'm just going to make the text darker like this the only thing that's missing is to add a small detail over here which will be an arrow and I'm going to change the color as well and we're pretty much done with the third slide we still got two more slides to go and four minutes left on the timer I think we can make it guys and I'll start by inserting an image I think I want to do this um, like a corporate business slide or something like that. So I'll just look for meeting office in the stock image library. And I think this one will work. So I'll just insert it to the slide and I think I'm going to flip it. So go to rotate and click on flip horizontal. I'll just put it right here on the left hand side of the slide. By clicking on crop, you can change the cropping of the image. And let's quickly change the color of the background. So right click format background and I'll choose this dark purple that I have over here. Let's insert a rounded rectangle and I'm just going to add it here. I'm going to make space for three points. I'm just going to make sure that they're evenly spaced with each other. So I'll just go to align and click on distribute vertically. And now I'll just get rid of their outline and change the color to white. Guys, I only have three minutes left, so I'll just copy the text from the previous slide, paste it over here. And honestly, I'm not sure if I'm going to make it because I'm such a perfectionist. I want to have everything evenly spaced, but I think this is looking really good. So I'll just change the color of the text boxes and change the numbers as well. Now what's left to do is to add a title and some sort of description on the right hand side of the slide like this, and I'll use an accent color to make it pop a little bit more so it looks a little bit more uh, interesting and fun and for the description I'll just make the font smaller and change it to white this is pretty much ready to go I would make a few changes if I had more time maybe add some icons or something but I think this will have to do for now and we made it to the last slide with two minutes and 15 seconds left on the timer I'll quickly look for an abstract image of a building from the image library in PowerPoint. And I think this one will work. So I'll just insert it like this. And I'm actually gonna crop it to the slide. This is not necessary, but I just like to make my life more complicated than already is. And I'm feeling the pressure. I only have less than two minutes on the timer. So I'll just insert a rectangle that covers the entire slide. And I'm gonna change the color as well. I'm gonna pick this dark blue. And now I'll insert a text box 
also click on the text box and here I'm just going to add a number. So in this case, it will be the year 2025. I'm moving super quickly. So I'll just center align the text, choose a different font that it's a lot bolder. And I'm going to change the line spacing as well from this panel. I'm going to pick 0 0.8 and click OK. Let's make it super large like this and put it right here in the middle. I think this is looking great. So now holding shift, I'm going to select the rectangle and then the text, go to shape format, merge shapes and click on subtract. Now we have this cut out and almost one minute left on the timer. So I'll just copy the text from the previous slide, put it right here. This will be my title and my description. And I'll also copy the text from the previous slide and paste it over here. So I'll have two text boxes over here on the right hand side. Guys, this is the final stretch, less than one minute left on the timer. Let's just change the transparency of the rectangle so we can see through it. And I'm actually going to insert a couple of boxes here so the text stands out a little bit more. Let's just quickly remove the outline and change the colors of the boxes. These are the final 30 seconds and I just need to bring the text back to the front and change the colors of everything. I honestly don't think I'm going to make it, guys. Let's move super quickly. I'll just change the colors of the boxes like this. And I think this one can use a different color to make it a little bit better. OK, guys, I need you to count with me the last 15 seconds of the timer. The last thing to do is to change this number for number two. And we are done, guys. That is done. That, that That's finished. So these are our two minute slide designs in PowerPoint. Point. I honestly can't believe we did this together. This was absolutely insane, stressful and horrible. I don't think I ever want to do this ever again. If you like this, make sure to subscribe and check out these other two tutorials that I have. I think you might like them. I'll see you on my next video.